the people that did the hit on FBG Duck made it very easy for law enforcement to get them. All they did was track their cell phones as they traveled. Their phones, the signal was pinging off towers. And they got them on video footage. Can't say it wasn't you and you on video footage. That's you. They had it down to a science to where even the dude that gave the drop on where FBG Duck was, he's on camera giving the damn drop. Unbelievable. Now this take tedious work now because they even got the cars driving by stores, driving by residents, driving by stores, driving on this street, and all those residents, all those stores, whether it's a gas station or whatever retail store it is, they got cameras. They actually trace the vehicles heading to downtown to do the job, the two vehicles. They actually have that on camera, the map, a map, a video map. Not to mention cell phones, conversations going back and forth with the guy that gave the drop. The guy's in the damn store. He's downtown. He sees FPG Duck. And allegedly, that guy texted one of the hitters, hey, come get this dude. He right here. Yup, FPG Duck, he right here right now. Come down. I don't like him anyway because he smashed my girl. Him and my ex had something. Apparently, this guy named is Teasy. He's downtown shopping. He sees FBG Duck. Just by coincidence, this happens. Now, we know that there was already money on his head, money on Duck's head already, allegedly by King Vaughn. King Vaughn is no longer here. But that was the alleged rumor or alleged thing. I say it's true. I say, what will motivate all them people to move that fast, that quickly? They could have said, listen, we not down there. By the time we get there, he might leave. We get him another time. But they knew if they did this, there's money involved. And I also believe that little dirt hands ain't that clean. I believe he the one behind the Vaughn guy. He's behind King Vaughn. And any decisions that King Vaughn makes, he got to get the okay from Lil Durk. I believe that's how they do it. Now, I might be wrong, but it was that simple, that easy to catch these guys. Video footage, cell phones, pinging off towers, and even the damn guy that saw FBG Duck. He's on video footage. I mean, they, they couldn't have gave... The boys any more blessing than that. Allegedly was two cars. One of the drivers' name is Kenny Mack. He was in communication with TZ. That's the guy that saw FBG Duck. And his job was to, at that moment, was to make sure he kept an eye on Duck. So he was the eyes of the operation. He was following Duck, watching them, and reporting back to the guys as they're driving downtown to pull off the job. Two cars, and I believe it was three or four people that jumped out the car, ambushed him, and let it fly. Allegedly, he was hit 16 times. So they made sure, they wanted to make sure he wasn't going to come out of that, that he wasn't going to survive that situation. What a coincidence because, you know, out of all the people, girlfriends, Duck could have had an affair with. It just happened to be this kid who just happened to be at the right place at the right time. He's feeling bitter about that situation that Duck took his girl, that he made the phone call. He, he wasn't even thinking about the money, none of that. He just, he just did it off that. So if he was not there, 
if he wasn't involved, Duck would probably still be alive today. Probably. That's a big probably because those guys were gunning for that dude. And there's a bag on his head that's hard to slip through. We know that, man. These, these guys, man, these street dudes, they're not really the smartest type of people. And they always get caught. So I already knew they was going to get caught. From the whole bar stop interview where he said that you see some of the cars that was used, the cars, one or two of the cars that were used in the hit, okay, it's right there in Old Block. And when he said what he said, Boss Top said what he said, they already knew, okay, these are the guys. Let's laser in on them. And the investigation started from there. Why? Why? They want the fame. No money behind it. They just want the fame. They wanted the fame. That's all these guys want. They don't care about the money. They're not doing this for money. They're doing it for the fame. Even if it means they got to go get locked up, never see outside, it doesn't matter. You can put them in, in, in maximum security. It doesn't matter. They got the fame, and that's it. Their names are printed in the newspaper. Their names are on the news, and they that's all they want. That's what they live for. Y'all just jumped out the window. Then after the act was done, you didn't clean up your steps. You didn't try to hide certain evidence as if cameras don't exist. You didn't burn the car. None of that. None of that. And one of the cars, by the way, is registered to one of the people. So all these things, this is slam dunk for the prosecution. Slam dunk. This is a slam dunk situation, a win-win, and it's sad what's going on. The tick for tack, you know, rivalry on this guy get hit, then they take revenge, this guy get hit. And it's the black on black situation, and it's not good. It's not good because a lot of mothers cried and so forth and so forth, but we know they, their children aren't innocent either. Only when it happened to them, that's when they want to cry wolf. Good or bad, whether FBG Duck was a good dude or a bad dude. The good news is these guys were dumb enough to leave all this evidence, and it's right on video. I mean, the boss top guy, he take the cake. We actually got that video. We actually have footage of that. Telling on, telling on old block, telling on the situation. There's actually a video floating. I, I believe I, I still have that video. I'm gonna put it up right now. Other than that, if they don't have the camera and if they didn't have the, the cell phone, all that stuff, they really wouldn't know anything. In a lot of cases, the boys don't know. It's somebody who talk that make them see what's going on and have a better understanding and they take it from there, as you see right here. But I'm not going to hold it up. Let me drop that video of Boss Top telling on himself and telling on old block. And this is the video footage that caused them to say, these are the guys, let's watch them, let's look into them, let's follow the text messages, let's watch these videos, come to find out one or two of the cars, boop, is in this video.